How's it going guys? Sharblox here. For this video, I wanted to talk about the most pointless and disappointing type of event accessories that have been becoming more popular in the most recent Roblox events. Of course, we have the first type of event items, which is known as the regular event items, I guess. These are great. Obviously, you just get these from completing quests and quizzes inside of games. There is also a badge to go along with the prize accessory, and sometimes you can just take these free event items off the catalogue. Everyone knows what event items are. I guess the second style of event items we can get are the promo code items. Sometimes they are linked with events like the Stranger Things event and sometimes they are linked with websites and shops doing promotional sponsored work with Roblox, all of that kind of stuff. Everyone knows what a promo code event is. So now we're getting on to the less popular event items. I guess the third type of event items are the Robux accessories. As you don't exactly win these, you just purchase them from the games menu or you can buy them from the avatar shop. Not exactly the most exciting type of prize, but at least you get the accessory on your avatar. I think it's fair to say that many people hate Robux accessory prizes, but to be honest, that one is not the worst in my opinion. And so we move on to the fourth type of Roblox prizes, and these are called in-game event items. Without doubt, the most boring type of Roblox accessory prizes you can win as you can only equip these inside of the game you unlocked it from. And they don't really do anything whatsoever. Like I said, you can wear it on your avatar inside of the game you won it from, but once you exit the game, you go to your profile, you join a different game, you can no longer wear this accessory. The sad part is these items normally look very good. There's clearly been some time spent creating these, you know, people put effort into making the texture and the mesh and all of that kind of stuff. So it's kind of sad to see they only stay inside of games. And then once that event falls out of popularity and a new event opens, then that item is just pretty much lost forever. I always get messages from people wondering why they can't find the prize in their inventory. Sometimes they get the badge, you know, they can see they've got the badge on their account, but they can't find the prize. And the reason why is because it's an in-game item, but most of the time it doesn't exactly tell you. One of the most recent ones was the Why Don't We Concert event, and there was something called the Pink Lotus. Now, many people thought this was actually a prize that you could get on your account, but the thing is, it was just an in-game item. So like I said, people were messaging me, they were saying they got a badge, they couldn't find the item in their inventory, and that's because you could only unlock it and wear it inside of the game. I know it sounds kind of pointless. I think the most confusing part about this is it did actually look like a genuine prize. Like when you joined the Why Don't We event, you had to do like a scavenger hunt. You had to do a few quizzes. You had to run around the map and find all of these items. It literally had a scavenger hunt list. So when people like completed this list, you know, they found all the stuff. They really expected to get the Lotus in their inventory. And the thing is, the Why Don't We event, it's not even the first event to do this. The seventh annual Bloxy Awards also had this where you'd get prizes inside of the games but you would never get them in your inventory and like I said when the event dies it's kind of pointless because these prizes are just forgotten forever. So as you can see when I complete this obby I do actually get the Lotus badge um, so there you go you got the badge Pink Lotus new award and like I said this is confusing to people you know they see the badge they think they've got the prize but when you open up your bag inside of the game you can equip it on your avatar and that's it like you can wear this inside of the game and it doesn't do anything else. The thing is, it looks good, so I kind of feel bad for the person that made it. It never got turned into a real item. This happened on the Avamax event as well. Um, on this game, you had to do like a lot of different quests. One of these in-game items was actually incredibly rare. Uh, the one that's called Find Avamax. You had to join Avamax inside of the game to get this, I believe, while the concert was running. So this one looked cool. It was well made. It was very rare, but it just didn't exist as a real item. And as you guys can see, I've got all this stuff in my inventory. I've got this kind of ice tail or feathers. I've got this halo with wings. You know, they all look really good, uh, but they're in-game items and that's it. You will never get a chance to wear these as proper Roblox accessories. And like I was saying, guys, this also happened on the seventh annual Bloxy Awards. There was actually loads of them and you could complete quests and get coins. So I feel like many people put time into completing these quests, but they only ended up as in-game items, which is a little bit disappointing. Hopefully Roblox don't do this so much in the future. I think charging them for Robux is even better. So at least the developer's work doesn't really go to waste too much. I honestly think the Lotus from the Why Don't We event should have been a paid item or a free item in fact you had to do a scavenger hunt you had to do a quiz you had to do an obby and all of that and you just get a badge so yeah a little bit disappointing hopefully roblox can watch this video and turn it into a real item i'm sure many people would appreciate that
So there we have it guys, that's just my opinion about in-game items, the most pointless and most boring event item you can get, and they're actually very disappointing, and they also confuse many Roblox players. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.